God bless you all, my precious brethren around the world. Just I want to help you out the way that Joseph Branham is uh, speaking contrary to the message of Brother William Marion Branham, our precious prophet. Actually, that uh, I, I have come, come up, I, I, I am going to speak on something, some important thing, after you heard Joseph Branham's uh, video clip, then you come to know what way he speaks about, and uh, he is uh, really contra many contradictions, many errors are there. He is not speaking from the scripture, nor from the message of William Branham. He has his own private interpretation of the message. That is what I just want to tell you. He has his own way and own interpretation of the message where Brother Branham never spoke one single word that he's, uh, Joseph is speaking. Actually, Joseph is not according to the ways of his own father. So therefore, you just hear the, uh, just hear the uh, video, uh, the uh, uh, audio, uh, audio video and just hear that then after that I want to uh, speak about that. So therefore this, is, this, this will help you, uh, help you people, uh, you know, worldwide. God bless you. God bless you. Dear Royal Spiritual Seed of Abraham, What church can you go to and know, without a shadow of doubt, that every word you are hearing is thus saith the Lord? Nowhere, unless you are hearing the voice of God speaking to you on the tapes. We are God's eagles and will not compromise on one word. We only want fresh manna every service and it doesn't come fresher than hearing it direct from God Himself. We fly higher and higher as we hear each message. The higher we go, the more we can see. If there's no manna in this church, God's eagles are raising a little higher till they find it. How our hearts leap with joy when we hear God speaking to us and telling us that we are His genuine, born again, Church of God which believes every word of God in the face of anything, regardless of what it is, because we are His unadulterated virgin word bride. There is such turmoil amongst the people today. As it was in the days of Jesus, those so-called believers were taking the interpretation of what the priests said about the scripture. They were believing man's interpretation of the word. That's the reason they failed to see the truth of God, because there were too many man-made interpretations of God's word. God don't need nobody to interpret His Word. He is His own interpreter. Do you believe if you had lived during Jesus' time, you would have believed every word He said, no matter what your priest said? Would you have told your priest that listening to Jesus is the most important thing you can do? Would you have told him Jesus' words need no interpretation? If they would have had tapes of Jesus preaching, would you have told your priest you want him to press play so you can hear exactly what Jesus said and how He said it? Well, that wasn't your age, this is your age, this is your time. The Bible said, He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. What you are doing and saying now is exactly what you would have done then. We believe the same S.O.N. of God that come in the East and vindicated Himself as God manifested in the flesh, is the same S.O.N. of God in the Western Hemisphere that's identifying Himself among us. We believe this day this scripture is fulfilled before us, I truly believe this is the acceptable year, the year of Jubilee. If you desire to remain a slave and don't believe this message is thus saith the Lord, if this message isn't your absolute, if you believe it takes a man to interpret the message, if you believe it is wrong to play tapes in your church, then you have to be taken and a hole will be bored in your ear with an all, and then you have to serve that slave master the rest of your days. But the real genuine bride church is believing the entire word of God in its fullness and in its strength. We are the elected church that's pulling out and set aside from those things, and the manifestation of God has attracted our attention. We are that royal spiritual seed of Abraham. We're grateful for you to be here to enjoy this fellowship with us, which were under anticipations that God is going to give us during this meeting. So we invite you to join us Sunday at 12 p.m. Jeffersonville time, as we hear this day this scripture is fulfilled. We are under great anticipation. Yes, you heard what Joseph is saying, and somebody is speaking on uh, behalf of Joseph actually, and uh, all that things has been sent by Joseph, 
to the to 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 the churches that uh, he saying that the title of his youtube what church you belongs to like that what church you belong to you see all this cunning craftiness of the devil and uh, you know where that very important thing joseph is saying here and i would like to tell you that uh, joseph is saying here if you are in the time of jesus yeah if that uh, tapes were there in the time of jesus he would have told the people to press the uh, tape to press the button to press the tape uh, and he he is telling like that but i tell you today that uh, uh, the scripture is uh, not saying like that see in the time of jesus even he allowed his disciples to preach the kingdom of god that is what actually joseph is contrary to the bible totally contrary to the bible and he is speaking contrary to the bible i just want to read this uh, look then i am going to the main subject actually my main subject is different now this you hear uh, joseph is saying if uh, if in the time of jesus if there was a tape he would have jesus would have told them to press the tape yeah, that means uh, they, uh, they uh, jesus had uh, uh, jesus would have not given the authority or power to his disciples to preach so that is what he mean to say that means he made even jesus he he mean to say everybody should be dumb nobody should preach everyone mouth should be dumb you should not preach what a nonsense doctrine of this joseph branham yes i i don't know why the people are uh, you know listening to joseph branham and uh, that let me come to that uh, main subject uh, but before that i just want to uh, read this scripture yes here luke chapter uh, was luke chapter 1 now he, you listen carefully then he called his 12 disciples together and gave them power and authority over all devils and to cure diseases and he sent them to preach the kingdom of god unquote he sent them to preach the kingdom of god and to heal the sick and he said unto them take nothing for your journey neither staves nor scrip neither bread neither money neither have two coats a piece whatsoever house you enter into there abide and tents depart and whosoever will not receive you when you go out of that city shake off the very dust from your feet for a testimony against them and they departed and went through the towns preaching the gospel and healing everywhere amen see jesus gave the power and authority to his disciples to preach the gospel of the kingdom of god now imagine this fellow is lying against the scripture this fellow lying against the bible this fellow only one thing he has in his agenda that press the tape all right all right now i am coming to the point my subject today is uh, my subject really i just want to tell you uh my subject is today uh, one minute uh, so th- this is my subject sons walk not in the ways of their father the prophet that is my main title of the subjects uh, why sons walk not of their father's ways that is my subject so now i just want to speak to you now listen here uh now he, here is a scripture first samuel 8 first samuel 8 uh first verse onwards and it came to pass when samuel was old that he made his sons judges over israel now the name of the of his first born was joel and the name of his second abia they were judges in beersheba and his sons walked not in his ways but turned aside after luck and took bribes and perverted the judgment unquote perverted the judgment like joseph branham perverted the message there that that is what here the the meaning comes uh, now continue the scripture then all the elders of israel gathered themselves together and came to samuel unto rama and said unto him behold thou art bold and thy sons walk not in thy ways now make us a king to judge us like all the nations but the thing displeased samuel and they said give us a king to judge us and the samuel prayed unto the lord so this is the scripture god has given unto me and i just want to tell you see 
Samuel was a prophet and uh, you know prophet they have some desires you know like uh, everyone like our William Branham now Samuel and William Branham is like a Samuel because William Branham also preached a, against a blind uh, blind uh, priesthood that is called the denomination bl blind priesthood and he, he came in the right time brother Branham also came in the right time several hundred years there was no prophet so like us and uh, then uh, the Hannah prayed unto God that if you if thou give me the son I will dedicate him in the temple of God so likewise God granted a, a fruit that means womb, opened the womb of the Hanna and gave a son and uh, the, that son since from, uh, since from the birth that son was in the temple of God and God ordained him as a prophet and uh, first prophecy came against the Elis uh, priesthood and we know that. So similarly now today our William Branham is like a Samuel. He is none, nothing but the Samuel. Actually, the, the 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 same thing, same thing that even the William Branham also did. He is prophesied against the uh, you know blind priesthood of the denominations and uh, all these uh, things. You know, all the, the, the things are uh, you know unwanted things are t going on in the churches worldwide. So, Brother Branham came to straighten up the churches. So now, now Brother Samuel made his sons to be a judges in the Israel. It was Samuel, not God. It was Samuel, not God. Samuel made uh, his sons a judges over the Israel. But uh, what happened? Actually, these sons were not according to the prophet, their father. So what, father, what way father walked before God, those sons did not walk. The same case here. What way the father, you know, William Branham walked, these sons are not walking according to what their father walked because they are walking contrary to the message of William Branham and to the Bible. That is exactly right. That be, because prophet sometimes he have the desire, you know, that actually being is a prophet, William Branham, he had a desire that the, his son will be, become a prophet and actually he never said it is thus saith the Lord. He only told, my, I wish my son will be a prophet. That's all he told. But he never said that thus saith the Lord. He had a desire that Joseph will be a prophet. But uh, he is not a prophet. He never be a prophet. He don't have the prophetical office now even after now. After even in the future. He will never going to occupy the prophetic office. He will be like that because God don't God do not have the grandchildren. You know God only dealt with the brother William Branham. Uh, God's concern is not his uh, family, whether the wife or ch ch sons or daughters, it is not God's concern. Because prophet and many ma man of God, they have the desire, their family should come forward and their sons should become a pastors and they should occupy the pulpit. These are the desires and the ambitions of the pastors and the ministers the, that is obviously everywhere it is going on. Uh, similarly, the prophet William Branham, even he had a desire that his son should become a uh, prophet because he had some problem with his elder son Billy Paul about the marriage problem that I don't want to talk about that let it be but uh, he didn't tell uh, his elder son to go and uh, preach from the pulpit only he is testifying that's all right I don't touch that point but I'm touching here that Joseph Branham's matter he is becoming he made himself as a prophet everyone giving respect because what they say oh prophet had told that Joseph will be a uh, uh, prophet so prophet Branham said that Joseph will be a prophet so now my question is if Joseph is a prophet, why he don't see the visions, why he don't receive the word of God, uh, and why he do, do not uh, speak what his father spoke? See, if he is a prophet, he should continue what his father spoke and what his father brought the message. But he is not doing that. Therefore, William Branham never said uh, uh, about his uh, son Joseph Branham that uh, he will be a prophet, thus saith the Lord. And in somewhere in the spirit of the truth, Brother Branham said, my going home time has come. I will be a going up soon, but somebody will going to rise up and he will be an odd person and he will take my message on. You will have to listen to it, he said. That is the different things. So he never said that uh, my son will, that Joseph will be that person. Joseph is not at all that person. Joseph is not at all the person whom Brother Branham said about that. So therefore, uh, now here you tell me, and this Joseph Branham is speaking all lies, actually lies, totally lies. That, and you, one more thing he told, uh, he took the Old Testament uh, somewhere. See, there is a, uh, you know, after the Jubilee, they have to, that slave should go away from the 
owner's house. They should not remain in the house. If they want to remain in the house, they should make a bore in their ear. And when they make a bore in their ear, they are permanently, they will be a slave in that house. So he is bringing that things here and he is showing to us that tapes, if you don't listen to the tapes, you are a slave to the devil, he means to say. How can he say that if you, see we, we are not saying that we are not going to hear the tapes. We love the tape moreover, more than these people. We love the tapes, we love it. I, and why this fellow is uh, always talking about them now, now I can understand because Joseph Branham receiving huge amounts of money tithes and offerings from every corner of the world because that is why he made a program that everyone should hear the message what they are playing in their tabernacle and he is uh, uh, you know like a streaming and he will giving to them and he will uh, he will make them to listen to the tapes and uh, he will play the audio tapes and everyone should worldwide they should hear then what about the churches what about William Branham brought the church order about pastor about uh, evangelist about teacher about prophet about uh, apostle Ah, uh, no, everything. I have already spoke about that in my past uh, YouTube that I exposed. Now, my question is here. Now, now what happened? Here, Sa Samuel's sons, uh, actually, j they judged, they perverted the, uh, they perverted the judgment. That means, uh, just like Joseph Branham perverted the message. I can say, he is perverted the message of William Branham. Now, here, these judges, they are perverted and they made money. They took the bribes. They, they, they had the money scheme. So whole Israel got uh, tired of these people. They, 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 they were really, uh, you know, uh, what do you say? They, they were really annoyed uh, on uh, uh, Samuel's sons. Because already Samuel is a old man. The Samuel became a old man. So they came to Samuel. They are demanding for the judges or the king. So, so that the king may judge them properly. So that, that was their demand. You see, that because of that mistake, because Samuel, he, you see, Samuel, God never told to Samuel to appoint his sons as a judges. God never told that. It was not the God's pro program. So just like here, God never told to William Branham to make his son a prophet or ordain his son a prophet. You, you see, many people, Joseph, uh, Brother Branham ordained, those who, are, those who came from denominations and where, where they succeeded. They, they went away from the world. They went away from the message. They left the message. They are no more in the message. All right. same, same case happened in Joseph Branham's things. Uh, so everybody is thinking that Brother Branham told Joseph is a prophet. Brother Branham told Joseph Branham is a uh, prophet. And Brother Branham told Joseph is just like the Joseph in Egypt stored the food. So my son storing the See my dear brothers and sisters, Joseph... Uh, Joseph is not the fellow to store the food. Our Christ Lord is there to store the food. Yes, and Lord is there to store the food. And the people don't understand what is store the food. They don't know. I don't want to detail to bring over here. Uh, because I can say one thing, everybody looking unto Joseph because Brother Branham said so. Brother Branham had a great influence of God even still today his influence is not died. Brother, though the Brother Branham left the scene, but his influence is whole world. No, because that influence is nothing but the presence of the Lord, I tell you. So that presence of the Lord is on the earth. These people are taking the advantage of that influence and misusing the influence of William Branham. I just want to tell you, though William Branham gone, but his influence strongly there on the earth because of his message. And he, uh, he, he, made, he did a great healing campaign in his time. So, therefore, my beloved uh, brothers and sisters, so li listen carefully. This fellow, he, you know, took the advantage of, uh, he took the advantage of that uh, influence of William Branham. William Branham influence never going to be fade away. Oh yes, that influence will be there until the rapture is going to take place. That influence, true believers come under the influence. Uh, not we, not this Joseph Branham. Joseph Branham is nothing. He don't know. Uh, most of the things he don't know. He don't know what Brother Branham spoke in the church ages. That is what I am going to read for you now. That is also I want to going to take up. This is also, I took uh, that uh, Luke chapter uh, chapter 8, I, I read for you. See, Jesus had given the authority and the power to his disciples 
disciples to preach the gospel. No, the Lord never shut their mouth. Uh, this fellow, who is he to mute the uh, genuine ministers of God? Who is he to mute their... Uh, we, our mouth is immutable. It is not mute. Immutable. Oh yes, sir. So we we are we are ordained. We, God, God ordained the people. God ordained his ministers. God ordained his pastors. God ordained his evangelists. God ordained every minister in everywhere in the whole world in order to uh, bring the saints unto the perfection. So tape cannot bring the saints unto the perfection. Nowhere, nowhere in the Bible, nowhere in the message of Philip Branham. So therefore this man is a dumb man. Every time he is uh, publishing the uh, YouTube and speaking, you know only one thing, we have to listen to the tapes, we have to hear. Otherwise your ears are bored by the devil and devil uh, uh, put, you, uh, put you under his control. All these things. Uh, but it is nonsense. It's just like Samuel's sons what they did. Samuel's sons they were not according to the uh, will of the father, will of God. They were not according to the ways of their father, uh, prophet Samuel. So that is why that that is the cause Israel demanded the kings. So today, because of Joseph, because of Joseph, they are, Joseph is the cause. Most of the people are leaving the message. I am telling you. Most of the people are leaving the message. Joseph is the cause because he is not according to the ways of his father. That is what I just want to tell you. Oh yes, sir. Now I would like to read here Church Ages book from the book of Church Ages. Now listen carefully. This is the Church Ages book, page number 155. Page number 155. Third para here here it says. All right. Now, this is very important. All right. Only one messenger for each age. Now, listen carefully. I am reading the quotes of William Branham from the church ages. Only one messenger for the uh, uh, each age receives what the spirit has to say uh, to that age. And that one messenger is the messenger to the true church. Now, that one messenger is a messenger to the true church. He speaks for God by revelation to the churches, both true and false. Listen, this message, unquote, this messenger is not only true church, even false church also. The message is then broadcast to all. The message then broadcast to all that though it is broadcast for all who come within the range of the message, that message is received individually by only by only certain qualified group uh -huh, to certain way. Each individual of that group is one who has the ability to hear what the spirit is speaking by the way of the messenger. Amen. Spirit. Those who hear are not getting their own private revelation. Uh -huh. Though, now again I will repeat. Those who hear are not getting their own private revelation. Nor is a group getting their collective revelation. But each person is hearing and receiving what the messenger has already received from God. This is the quote I read. Unquote. Now, all of you people are hearing tapes. What benefit you have, tell me. Do you understand the tape? It is certain class of people, they understood the message. Aha, after heard the messenger spoke, and that is broadcasted now. That is no more with the prophet, prophet broadcasted that message. And, and that is to the true church. Now listen carefully. All this private revelation, private interpretation has gone. We are not after the private interpretation of Joseph Branham. Joseph Branham has his own private interpretation of the message of William Branham. Huh? So he is not according to the message of William Branham. Now here you see people who comes, he, this fellow who is misusing the influence of his father William Branham. 
influence, not this fellow's influence. This fellow misusing the influence of William Branham, I'm telling you. Because William Branham had a great influence from God. That influence is nothing but the presence of the Lord. And that influence spreaded around the world. And even still today, that influence is still alive. And no one can deny that. William Branham's influence never left the earth. In another words, that influence is nothing but the presence of the Lord. Because of the message... Not because of the man. God is not a respect of any man. God is respect of his own word. Listen carefully. God is not respect of Joseph Branham or Billy Paul. God is respect of his message. Because message and messenger is one. As, as I told you, message and messenger is one. Oh yes sir. And now message is remain on the earth. Message is there. Oh, all right. And I would like to tell you. I'd like to tell you, uh, this fellow is totally ups, uh, uh, ups, upset the program of God. All right. Therefore, same case, you know, Samuel was a prophet and he made his two sons as a judges. Because that was the appointment of Samuel. Samuel is a prophet. Na uh, uh, naturally, the prophet, he is in the flesh and he has uh, some desires. So the son should become a, uh, you know, successors. Brother Bala might have thought my son Joseph would be, would be a successor in my ministry. He might have thought, I don't say, I don't condemn my prophet. I respect my prophet. I love my prophet. Whatsoever Brother Bala said, I don't talk contrary to that. But uh, we have to watch, we have to carefully know, uh, watch the message. We have to carefully understand the message of William Branham. Where William Branham never spoke in such things, whereas this fellow is speaking. So therefore, this, uh, sh uh, this short video will help you out. My dear brothers and sisters, you will understand what I am saying. Uh, be careful, be careful. We are in the perilous time. And now actually we, we have to be very careful. Very much deception is going on. Own, uh, own sons because of uh, Samuel's own sons. The whole Israel asked for a king. Why? Because of his own sons. They were wicked fellows. Not according to their father's message. Not according to what their father, uh, desire, uh, father had. And not according to the ways of the father they walked. So therefore this will help you out. God bless you.